What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about all the improvements that 343 has made over the last th uh, few days to the game. The first thing of course is the Cyber Showdown event which started yesterday. Now 343 did announce that we're going to have pretty much an event in Halo Infinite for the next six weeks. So every week we're going to have a different event. And in the past, actually if you look back to the very first Fracture event, a lot of players were unhappy with how the event worked, how you unlocked items. And it seems that 343 over the last several months has learned from those mistakes and listened to the community. And so far, I've not really seen any uh, you know, negativity from the community about the Cyber Showdown. Everyone's talking about how much they really enjoy it. Now, when it comes to some other improvements they made yesterday, of course, the big thing was changes in store prices. A lot of people were unhappy since the game came out. You know, there's pretty much all players in the community were saying, don't buy anything from the store. It costs too much. You're just, you know, going to kind of give uh, 343 the idea of you think these, these prices are fair. And a lot of people decided they were not going to buy any items because the prices were a bit high. Some of the bundles they were offering did not have a lot of content within them and they were like 20 bucks. Now those prices have been cut way back. Some people may feel like these prices are still a bit too high, but if you're going to have an in-game store, we all know this, no matter what the game is, you're looking at usually an average of probably eight to fifteen dollars for most things you know skin wise and whatever you know whatever you're really buying bundle wise in a store uh you know for just cosmetics and, and things of that nature so that's probably really a more of a fair price point now of what they have kind of come to or what they have decided to go with in the store and i think a lot of people in the community are happy with that it shows 343 is really dedicated to the community and listening to what the community wants now I think most development teams think, you know, you have to change to what exactly the community is asking for. And that's not necessarily the case. A lot of times, even if you do not change everything that the community is talking about, as long as you are communicating with them, I think that makes a lot of people within the community happy. If you can look at a lot of companies that have not done this over the years, I can use Call of Duty, for example. Some years, the development team at Call of Duty, depending on which studio is making the game, has a lot more communication with the community. Uh, than they do in other years. If you look at what EA has done with Battlefield over the last several years, they don't really communicate a lot with the, you know, overall, uh, you know, gripes and complaints about the game. They kind of just do their own thing or just don't say anything at all. And it really frustrates the player base. So 343 has done a great job uh, really looking forward to what else they can do, you know, in the coming weeks with all these events. And I'm really looking forward to what they do in the future. If they really plan on having this game out for the next 10 years, like they talked about, I think what they're doing right now, listening to the community and you know, changing up these prices, bringing out all these different events, I think people will be very happy with the game overall. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the new price change and the new Cyber Showdown event. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.